What's going on guys? Welcome to Simon's World. Alright guys, so for those of you who watch my channel, you might know that I don't own an NB Miata. But, there's one right there. So that's my friend Nick's Miata, and what happened was yesterday we were sliding it. And the alternator went out. <laughs> well guys, the Miata is acting up a little bit with the, uh, the water. Luckily, Rollo's shop is right around the corner. It currently has like around 110,000 miles. I'm gonna do this alternator for him. He couldn't get the car home because he lives in San Francisco and I don't live in San Francisco. So we just left the car here because there was no way he was going to actually make it back. Literally this thing was so bad, I think it died like six or seven times on the way back from our friend Rollo's shop and that's like five minutes down the road. This thing's struggling to stay alive for over one minute at a time. So definitely time for a new alternator. All right guys, we'll see if it unlocks. Hey. So one thing I did want to make sure was that the e-brake was up and the car was in gear because I am going to be getting it off the ground on the front. And actually, since we're doing the alternator, I figured I might as well just roll the car back a little bit just so I have a little bit more space to work with. So since I'm going to be jacking up the car, I have these bullshit ass wheel chocks, a piece of wood and a piece of concrete. But I mean, whatever will suffice, I guess. <laughs> Make sure you disconnect the battery. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do to get your alternator off is you have to loosen these two bolts. So I don't even know how well you guys can see this, but on the top of the alternator here, there's this bolt here, which is for adjusting, and this one here which holds the alternator on the slider piece here. And both of these are gonna be a 12 mil bolt. And we're gonna mark this one with a, a paint sharpie, just so we know where to tighten it back to. And then we're gonna take it off with, again, a 12 millimeter. So before we start with anything, you are gonna wanna move this. It's just two 10 mil hose clamps, it's pretty easy. Just take it off the intake manifold, not the airbox. And that thing gets right out of your way. The only reason you do that is so you have a little more space to swing the ratchet around. So you guys might not be able to see it, but that's marked right there with gold paint marker so we will be able to see how far to get that back in and now time to unscrew that bolt there all right guys I did end up putting the uh, Miata up on jack stands just because of the one bolt underneath that I have to loosen to be able to get this thing to rotate now I've heard that it's gonna be a 14 mil wrench so I'm gonna find that out right now so guys the bolt you're gonna be looking for is actually right over here on the back side of the alternator you grab your 14 millimeter wrench slip it around the back and I'll sit right on there and then obviously you're going to have to grab it and push it upwards because that's how you loosen it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> well guys, we are at the point now where the alternator is loose enough to the point where we should be able to slip the belt right off. Just push it a little bit and the belt comes right off. Perfect. And here's that fucking Miata owner. What a shit box, huh? It isn't Nikolai. This is the tensioner faster, for the alternator on the side of the car. I just keep it together just so it's easy to keep track of. But yeah, now all I have to do is get the that bottom bolt out and then she'll drop straight at the bottom of the car. All right guys, so what we're struggling with right now is the uh, the intake manifold has a brace on it. Fucking sack of shit. And you can kind of see the two bolts there. But on the bottom, I couldn't unscrew the pivot bolt all the way because of the intake manifold brace. So what we're doing, taking off the brace. All right, so we got the brace out the short ones for the brace and then the long one This is the pivot bolts for the alternator and these two long these two mid-sized ones are for the top of the, the intake manifold brace. All right, we got it out So we have the pivot bolts in the pilot I put back on and now he's just tightening up the main harness. Where is he? Can you see him down there? There he is <laughs> And then after the main harness is on with the 12 and then with the 14 We're gonna be putting back on the intake manifold brace uh, once all of that's said and done, we can tighten that back down the pilot to where it was before after putting the belt on and then then we put the rest of the intake manifold back on or I guess the intake manifold piping and all that is is 10 mils for the hose clamps on both sides. It's pretty simple and then we reconnect the battery and it's good. All right, we've got the car fucking fixed and now it's coming down. It was a long process, but now we can do some fucking toge. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, stay tuned.